What up, everybody? You know it's Dom Cruz. It's your boy, Case. Reviewing Rebels, back again. We're going to do Cell Block 4. Starring CB4. Chris. They didn't sell Block 4. <laughs> uh, starring Chris Tucker. Uh, not Chris Tucker. That's Chris bad. Rock. What the fuck? Oh, Chris Rock. Man. Uh, Alan Payne. Uh, Charlie Murphy. Phil Hartman. Those are the starring five. Pay attention to that. Starring five. All right. This is the first movie we have done in 93. Um, what I could have done. You probably don't know these movies. Instead, A Far Off Place. Fire in the Sky. Never heard of either one. Of yeah. Them. Yeah. Um, so this movie, I had to re actually go back and actually spend my hard owned money and rent it because it's not on no streaming service. It's not even on YouTube. No, it is for three ninety nine. Yeah, I know. Oh, but you're saying for like, free. you know, yeah. For yeah, yeah, free. yeah, yeah. So anytime you're looking for this movie, if you don't have a DVD, VHS, you will have to spend money on it. It's not on streaming. Um, so this movie comes out March 12th, 93. What was you doing? I have you no fucking I idea. I was, <laughs> I was doing the night. I was March eight 12, months. 93? Eight months. Oh man. I seen this I ended up seeing this movie on Comic View. Not Comic View. Uh, Comic Central, probably like in junior high. Okay. Uh I know I didn't see this movie in ninety three. I was like oh, wow. okay. eight. I yeah. don't know. Um shit. I don't know though yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. Whatever the fuck eight year olds is doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I think I saw this movie. I was probably for sure, a teenager mm -hmm. or going yeah, about to be yeah. a teenager. Same here, same here. All right, so box office was seventeen point nine. What was the budget? <laughs> they barely gave them anything. It was uh, three million. Six million. They gave them six yeah, million dollars. Six million dollars. Yeah. I can't believe that. Distributed, distributed by Universal Pictures, and uh, the production company was Imagine Entertainment. Don't know who they okay. are. I've never heard of them. Me either. Um, they never heard of the director either, Tamara Davis. Tamara Davis is a woman. I don't Tamara, know. Tamara, Tamara. Yeah, something like that. All right, so Rotten Tomatoes gives the rating fifty two percent. I'm surprised they gave it that. Out. Yeah, probably because of cult classic. Uh, Metacritic, you know them? No, never uh, heard they of gave them forty nine percent, and IMDb gave them six point two out of ten. <laughs> what does Q review give them? It's a classic. Yeah. Uh, what did I used to do? Was I doing it out of five or ten? Yeah, I think it was five. Yeah, I think it was five. <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah, it was five. Yeah. Um, I'll give him a three. Mm, three out of five. Man, not bad. Yeah. Uh, box office. The the film ranked number one at the box office in its opening Get weekend. The fuck out it's opening this weekend. Well, it was against what did I told oh, you. Oh, the, the movie. Fire yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, with the sales total of six million across twelve. 1,200 theaters. At the end of the domestic run, it grows $17 million. Chris Rock stated that the film budget was $6 million. That's <laughs> not a bad run for $6 million. Or... No, not across, at all. Yeah, across Especially back then. Theaters. Tickets to yeah, movies yeah. were probably $5. Yeah, yeah, for so real. if they adjusted for inflation, it's uh -huh. probably uh, $30 million maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this review was from August 4th, 1999. Funniest F in movie. That is the person's name. Hmm. No, no, no. His name is Medizi, but he gives it a 10 out of 10. His name is Funniest... Oh, no. His title is Funniest Effing Movie. I don't know why you have to have a title. Whether you hate rap music or you don't, this is one of the funniest movies about rap music. This is true. Uh, CB4 punks... I mean, pokes fun at West Coast rap, which was popular in the 90s. This had to be one of Chris Rock's funniest roles ever to... Songs are really funny, and the characters in this movie make it is what it is. Chris Elliott to Phil Hartman. Okay, I'm hey. surprised uh, West Coast rappers named yeah. the shit out of them. No, for real. They, yeah, but it became a good punchline because yeah. somebody was faking it, but all you see before rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this review is from June 27, 2004 from Scuba. His title is, or it's, Funniest rapimentary that I've ever seen. Rapimentary. You know okay. what? This is the probably the only rap like parody other than uh Malibu Bus Wanted, but that wasn't really rap. Yeah, was, yeah. I don't think this is solely centered. Yeah, on rap. around rap, yeah. Uh he gives it a seven out of ten. I've heard various stories about C before. Hmm. So finally I had to do the conclusion and go see it for a piece of mind. C B four covers of funniest 
prejudice about gangster rap culture and it starts off with a small crew who wants to end up like rap stars and it's all about the beat and the attitude. Chris Rock just plays his role like a madman, so good and so real. I just laughed the whole time this piece rolled in the VCR. You have still had a VCR in 04? My God. Mm. And these scenes who are shooting parody of a gangster culture just takes home the first prize award. It's too much of a good stuff. It has a good point after all. And when the ending credits roll, I felt this was a piece of acting. Funny and creative, and it does not follow any other film formula I've seen yet. And that was in 04. So, we have a review from 2022. This person gives it a 6 out of 10. Uh, good soundtrack. Just okay story. So that those 90s Damn. and 2000, now we're in 2022. This person is not going for it. After watching CB4, I'm wondering how much royalties they had to pay. Because a lot of these gangster tunes sounded very familiar. The music was actually the best thing about this movie, along with some good comical scenes. I laughed four or five times. Damn, I mean, but how long do you expect to laugh? This is not a stand-up yeah. co- co- comedy. Good laughs, but overall, that's not enough for comedy. Damn. I feel All right. like that's a decent Yeah. Song. I mean, you're not supposed to sit there <laughs> yeah, wait a second. in a movie just This person must be 12. They didn't like the story. Yeah. They didn't like the laughs, but you like the music? Yeah, this person must have just got on Gangsta Rap or something. Uh, the West Coast rap gangster was funny. That's funny? Okay. I the, think uh, this person might have been trying to watch the mm-hmm. NWA movie. Okay. And saw this. Yeah, and was like, oh, yeah. That, that's, that makes sense. Related to yeah, from Netflix. Yeah, that's that it makes right sense. There. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but the soundtrack <clears throat> was enjoyable the most. You said that already. The story itself isn't great. The acting is okay, but not everybody. CB4 is good to watch. Once, but saying it's the greatest rapimentary of all time, to quote other reviewers, is highly exaggerated. It's the only rapimentary, right? I mean, I guess straight uh, out of Compton, Compton is a rapimentary. That's a real life, right? Yeah, it's a rapimentary. It's a biopic. A rapimentary. All right. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, prequel, sequel, remake series, leave it alone. Mm. I leave it alone. Yeah, I leave it alone too. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, think yeah. it was good enough to bother me. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong; it was a good movie, yeah. it was classic, yeah, funny. Yeah, but I don't think it. Hey, needs I'll to. flip it. I'll go Buzz Lightyear way. Do the real. I don't know what was his character's name again. MC Gusto. Do the real Gusto as the real gangster movie. Mm. That's the remake. Because you know how Buzz okay. Lightyear, they did the real Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. They do the real Gusto <laughs> and make it a gangster movie like this kid one's from 2022. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I've uh, Who would play his role? Daniel from Insecure. I don't know. I need like a Nino Brown type. Like a West Knee Snipes yeah, type. Yeah. I don't know. He got a lot of size on him. Yeah. Gotta be somebody skinny. Really? Or, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe like a... Hell, Dwayne, fake Dwayne Wade. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, fake Dwayne. His name's like Sequoia or something. Yeah, All cool. right. All right, so we're going to wrap this up with shit I think you don't know. All right, Chris Rock was on SNL from 1990 to 93, but how long was he on Living Cutler? I don't remember him being on Living Cutler at Me all. Me either. So I I'm didn't either. Three months. Ooh, One it episode. was close. Uh-huh. 93 to 94 a year. A year. Because okay. after that, he went to Chris Walk show when he was on uh, late nights and stuff. Huh. All right. Alan Payne is the longest. Okay. Alan Payne, longest run out of character is what role? Oh, uh, that's easy. Yeah. The Medea one. I, I forgot what the. House of Pain. House of Pain. CJ yeah. Payne from 2007 to current. That shit still comes on. It, it, so what happens is stop. Then it came back. Then it came back again. So right now get he's the been, fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to, yeah. to uh, G Money yeah, getting that real. money for real. Yeah, uh, Phil Hartman played in two movies with Sinbad. What was those films? Oh, with Sinbad. Yeah, uh, these are um, both hitters too. Was one. I don't remember the name of was one where Sinbad was the Secret Service agent. No, protect, no, that was first kid. First kid. He wasn't. Phil he Hartman wasn't in been first in kid. It that like the dad I or something. I feel like right? he was in first. Was kid. he in first kid? It seemed like he would be in first kid. Wow. I can't. 
can't think of uh I can't think of any other Sinbad movies. They just all went out of my head. Damn. Sinbad. It's Phil only, Hartman. It's only like seven of the mugs. Yeah, it's not a lot <laughs> to choose from. No, Phil Hartman wasn't in the first kid. He wasn't kid. the first nah. kid. Um I'm gonna have to pass. All right. So house guests? House guests. And Damn. jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. Fuck. That's what I said. Some hitters. <clears throat> I That's most that all his good content right there. Damn. All right. Damn, I forgot. All right. So Charlie Murphy's first role was. Oh, that's the end of the yeah, question? Yeah, that's the end of the question. Shit. Uh, Charlie Murphy's first role. Oh, I mean, hold on. Let me just. I'll give you a, a choice. Okay. I just got to figure out the right answer. Okay. All right. A, C, B, 4. D, Jungle Fe- Oh, I haven't do it in order. My bad. So, A, C, B, 4. B, Harlem Nights. C, No Better Blues. Or D, Jungle Fever. Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights is correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one of the cast members played a past revisit. Give me the movie or actor. One of the cast members played played in what? the in the past revisit that we did. A past. Give revisit. me the movie or give me the actor. Okay, so we got Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. He's out. Um, you got Dreezy. Who's Dreezy? Exactly. Nobody knows him. It's the other dude in the member. Now oh. with the do-rag, you got Phil Hartman. You got Charlie Murphy. Um, fuck. I'm going to go with Phil Hartman. It is Drizzy. Drizzy. He, we went back to back. He played in Bringing Down the House. Who was he in Bring Probably in nothing house? important. I don't know. What the It'd fuck? Probably gangster number two. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that concludes. That's it. I damn. Yeah. Man. I got one. <laughs> no, nah, you got the. Uh, yeah, the huh? you this is one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, it's all bad. <laughs> that's it for Cell Block Four uh, reviewing Rebels. Hopefully, y'all favorite part is shit you don't know because that's my favorite part: busting balls. It was actually a good review from that person that did one in 2022. He just like killed and destroyed Shadow the movie. The movie. Right, just really did. But I was like, really looking straight out. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been Dom Cruz. It's MC Gusto. <laughs> hey, that's it. <laughs>